Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and we've got some really cool news because we've had an article on Altcoin Buzz done about the Digifacts. So the Digifacts, for those of you who aren't too familiar, have been previously put up on the Digibyte Coin Twitter, and they're a bunch of real, like, bite-sized little facts and pieces of information about Digibyte. So this is really cool because they've gone through here and there are 20 Digibyte facts you don't want to miss. And they go into them all as well here. So they've actually typed them up, which is kind of nice. So kudos to them. Um, but they go through and they've kind of picked out their favorite ones. And a lot of them I really quite like as well. I mean, obviously I wrote all of them, but that's not really the point. Um, now they mention here the Digifacts have been awesome. We've shared 74 of them. This was when we'd done all of them on Twitter. And that was about a week ago, I think we finished. You can go and you can click on the link that will take you through to GitHub where we've gone and put them all up here. So we've got the images. I've just gone and moved them all into a folder so that they're not going to have a, a massive long listing like this before you get the readme. Anyway, so what we can do is we can come down here and let's click on 73, for example. It's then going to show you here, this is the image. Actually, let's open it in a new tab so we get the whole thing there. And this is freely available for you to download and share and do whatever you want with. If you've got more that you'd like to uh, commit, fantastic, would love to hear them. And um, you can go to, if we go back here, uh, it's digibyte-core slash digifacts on GitHub. Or we'll include a link to this great article from Altcoin Buzz in the description below. Now, coming up, we have the AMA with the Burency community and Digibyte, and we've had some really great feedback from the uh, Burency community already. They are massive and incredibly active, very vocal as well, which is great to see. Saw a lot of comments on some previous videos. Uh, now anyway, so we've unfortunately had to previously reschedule the last one to be this weekend. So it's going to be Sunday the 26th of April at 7 p.m. CET, which is 5 p.m. UTC. Um, go and check them out, say hi, you can click on this, it's linked to their community, and as you can see there's currently 107,000 of them on Telegram, so that's pretty solid, 3,000 currently online, my goodness, that's a lot of people. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be cool, um, any kind of questions that you might have there, feel free to throw them in the Telegram chat, we're going to have some people coming along and the AMA will start. Uh, it's in, so what are we now? Uh, it's Friday for me, so it's a uh, ballpark three days. So go along, ask any questions that you might have. Looking forward to answering them. Now, I've gone and purchased another 5,000 Digibyte to donate to the Prog Pow fundraising. So if you click on this uh, image, it'll take you through to the Medium article. The Medium article details a little bit about mostly around the donations actually and the fundraising, what we're wanting to do. Um, I've actually just gone, oh, I'll show you here. So one of the things I do want to say is we're at 380,000 out of the goal of 500,000 Digibyte. Big props to the community, great stuff, really awesome to see. Uh, <laughs> like like James from Crypto Mug Investors would do. Take a little bit of a pat on the back. We're getting there. Need to keep going though, I want to see us reach that mark. Um, so I'd previously already gone and donated 25,000, I've put another 5,000 in. I'm just a regular guy working from home in a non-crypto job, in isolation like everybody else is at the moment. So any small amount that you can give is greatly appreciated. Uh, what I've gone and done though, uh, let me go, nope, here it is, is I've made another Medium article talking about about why we want to do it, why it's so important. A little bit of history, of course, because it wouldn't be a Medium article from me without a little bit of history, but also specifically about what this is going to do. Bringing back GPU mining, lowering the barrier to entry there, and I come down here and talk about what's going to happen, what you can expect in terms of a ballpark timeline. I, I specifically mention here this is at best a, a wild guess. I mean, it's actually probably more of an educated guess, but still, you know, so um, I talk about what's going to happen, how are you going to see it. Anyway, head on over to here, send through your donations because then we can give that to Christy Lim in the hand. We'll get that commit, we'll get the ball rolling, we'll get the test net upgraded, we'll get the miners upgrading as well, and then we can start mining Digibyte again on your GPU, CPU, potentially even your cell phone. That's still a little bit up in the air. We'll see what happens though. So it's all great stuff and I'm super excited about this. Anyway, like I mentioned, 380,000 out of our 500,000 goal. Great stuff community. We're getting there. Keep it up. We can reach it. We can reach it by the end of this week. I think we can.
Anyway, that's going to be all from me for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Again, uh, big shout out to the Buren C community, which is back here. Go along if you do have questions for the AMA, throw them in the Telegram channel. We'll get to answering that this weekend. Leave any other questions or comments uh, down below. You can reach me on Twitter. I'm at DGB underscore chilling. Consider leaving a like, hit the share, subscribe button, and I'll talk to you in the next video. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.